Hey house kids, welcome to today's Big Brother Canada updates and spoilers. We don't have house kiss of the day. But seriously, time is running out, so if you're planning on doing it this season, make sure you check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alright, so, quick review. Did Cass flip the house in her favor yesterday? What? It was looking so certain that she would be going to the jury this week, but now... It almost looks like she could be staying. What? I don't know. It seemed like it yesterday. Kelsey was campaigning for her to the brothers, and at one point, Phil was like, well, Kelsey, if that's what you want, then we'll keep Cass. What? But we know that Phil still wants Cass to go. He's just doing whatever Kelsey wants, which is, like, weird. But he was talking to Joel, and he's like, Joel, it's not over yet. You need to campaign. There's still so much time before the vote. Anything could happen. And Joel is like, yeah, everybody's saying that I have all these votes, and it's, like, not fair to assume that, meaning votes in the jury. And he's like, everyone has a chance to win in the end. So then Phil's like, listen, you don't need to tell me. Just keep talking to Kelsey, assure her safety, tell her you're not a snake. <laughs> can just picture that, like, I'm not a snake, Kelsey. Uh, and explain your game to her, because Cass has already done that, and now they want Joel to do the same. It's like when politicians have to release their, like, tax whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. So, anyway... Joel goes ahead and talks to Nick, there's a little campaigning in there, and he's like, there's no way that I would be able to work with Tim uh, if I stay, because Tim made it very clear at the power veto ceremony that I'm dead to him. What? So, they really love that phrase this season, you're dead to me. So, Nick is like, yeah, I see that. Uh, he thinks that Tim is way more likely to work with Cass than he would be to work with Joel next week. Uh, duh. I can't believe these other people are actually believing that Cass and Tim wouldn't work together. But anyway, uh, Nick is like, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do at this point. There's still a lot of time left. Uh, I feel like I've been burned by both you and Cassandra, so which burn is worse? <laughs> you got to figure that out. So then Nick asks Joel, if you were in a position next week where you won the veto and you had to choose between... Phil and I, and Kelsey, who would you pick? Obviously, Joel says that he's going to pick the brothers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. So then Nick is like, well, your fate is in your hands, and there's a way out of everything. He's friggin' Yoda, Nick. Seriously, may the force be with you. Whatever. <laughs> so then Joel and Cass are chatting, and Joel is like, yeah, uh, so I'm thinking about calling a house meeting because... I feel like I'm not really in a position right now where I can talk to people individually. Like, I need to lay everything out for everyone to see at the same time. So Cass is like, well, what are you going to do? I mean, are you going to friggin' throw me and Tim under the bus? What else are you going to do? And Joel's like, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with a new campaign strategy. Uh, so they're like, wow, this really sucks that we have to campaign against each other. But it is what it is. So then Cass wants to know if Joel's, like, mopiness is for real or if he's acting. So Joel's like, well... I've been feeling like absolute crap for the last three days, like ever since the Power Veto competition. I've been talking to people about it in the diary room. I don't know. I still feel, I mean, like, yeah, I'm sure he's upset, but I feel like he's definitely acting quite a bit. Um, so Cass encourages him, like, you're not a loser. You're a nice guy. Just don't lie to me. All right. So then, last night, Big Brother gave the house guests a task. There was this huge bucket of slop, and Big Brother was like, if you can eat this whole thing within a certain amount of time, Joel's slop punishment <coughs> will be over. So they start eating. Joel is not included in this, by the way, because, I mean, he's already on slop. So they start eating it a little bit. It seems like Nick and Cass are really giving it a try. Everybody else, they're just like... <laughs> so then, after a little while, they're like, you know what? We're never going to finish this. Because, by the way, they weren't allowed to, like, cook it or anything or, like, mix it with any condiments. They had to eat it raw, and it looked, like, green almost and disgusting. Um, but they were like, you know what? There's no way we're going to finish all this within the time that they've given us. So we may as well just stop right now because it's going to be really annoying if we eat a lot of it and then we still fail. So they decided, like, that's it. We're not doing this. Sorry, Joel. So that was a fail. Uh, so then after that, Tim was really pissed at Big Brother for putting them 
in that situation. He's like, how could you do that? Blah, 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 blah. And Joel's like, no, no, it's okay. You guys tried. Some more than others. Um, <laughs> and he's like, I'm the one who took the punishment in the first place. Honestly, I think Joel is probably happy that they did not complete this because now he can still be like, oh, like on slob, oh, feel bad for me. All right, so then Joel was campaigning to Tim and it was like pretty much the same stuff that he's been saying, like I don't have jury votes, we all have a chance to win. And then he's talking about how good Cass is at talking and how she can make a really good case for herself to the jury. Tim was like really, really quiet during this whole thing. He wasn't even looking at Joel while he was talking. He was just like staring up at the ceiling. So I'm really thinking that Tim was not very interested because we know when Tim is interested in something, he talks like a lot. So it wasn't looking good for Joel in that conversation. But anyway, Kelsey and the brothers were chatting out by the hot tub. And all of a sudden, Kelsey's just like, hey, we should keep Joel this week. What? You just worked so hard to convince the brothers to keep Cass, and now you're like, we should keep Joel. So she's like, he's not good at competitions, he cracks under the pressure, he can't handle it, and his slop brain is only going to get worse day after day. So they're like back and forth about it, because you know these three are so indecisive, uh, as usual. A little while later, Tim and Cass were outside with them, and they were talking about this out in the open again. It's so weird. Kelsey in front of Cass is just like, I think maybe we should keep Joel. So again, she's talking about how Joel is weak, blah, blah, blah. But are they, you know, are they thinking, is Joel really feeling that weak? Or is this an act? Um, but it was just like really bizarre. And Cass was like still acting like she's safe. She's talking about how she's so excited for that, um, for the Big Brother Canada Awards. She's like, we're going to get all dressed up and do red carpet, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, you don't even know if you're going to be here. <laughs> even Tim was acting like he might not vote for Cass to stay. I'm pretty sure that was all an act. But still, it was like weird. So this morning, there was a big meeting in the HOH room. Tim, Kelsey, and the brothers. <laughs> it was a real meeting of the minds. So, or at least one, and then like three others. So then they were like, should we get rid of Joel or should we get rid of Cass? So Tim kept pushing, like Joel could definitely win the final power veto competition and then he's probably going to get rid of one of you guys. So not looking good for you there. And then he's like, yeah, and then Joel could just keep going on and on, make it to the final two and he's got a real shot at winning this whole thing. So, Kelsey and the brothers are like, yeah, but um, what about you and Cass? They're really concerned about Tim and Cass still working together. <laughs> Duh. But Tim is like, no, I really believe that given the opportunity, Cass would vote me out. And he's like, and honestly, if I won Power Veto, I'd vote her out because she's like the Black Widow of the house or whatever, and I would, you know, be able to take her out. Also, Tim was like, if Cass and I make it to the end together, it's going to kind of dilute the strength of my game, because he wants to be able to talk about all the game moves that he's made. If Cass is talking about the same stuff, it's going to make him look not as good. So he's pitching that to everybody. Kelsey's like, well, why do you feel so comfortable keeping Cass when she said, like, to your face that she's going to vote you out if she can? And Tim is like, because we know how Cass is, and she's not good at competitions. There are way more unknowns with Joel. Um, look what he did this past week. There's still like shocked about it so then they decide like we're gonna wait see what Joel has to say and then we'll make our official decision so then after that these chuckleheads they make a final three deal <laughs> treaty of the final three so that's Kelsey Tim and the brothers and they're like woo break <sighs> do we really think these people are gonna honor that come on so later, <laughs> Joel goes up to the HOH room, so everybody's up there except for Cass, and he's like, what's going on? And they're all just like, we're chillin', we haven't made a decision yet, but we will tell you when we do. So then the brothers are like, Cass has laid out her whole game for us, so like, we know what she's lied about, we know what moves she's made, now it's your turn to own up to your stuff. So Joel's like, yeah, I want to call a house meeting, but I need more time to prepare, and I will talk to all of you guys later. So we've got that to look forward to tonight. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of arguments he comes up with and how they all respond to it. So it's getting down to it. The eviction's tomorrow. It's going to be either Joel or Cass. Let me know in the comments who you guys 
think it'll be and who you want it to be. And until tomorrow, much love.